welcome to Results Positive YouTube videos channel. My name is Angel Tran. I am an IT consultant specializing in HP IT performance suite of products. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating how you can easily create and build an API test using HP UFT 12.0. The web service demo I will be using in the video can also be found from the API tutorial guide in your installation folder. So let's check it out. We we'll start by launching up the UFT application itself. So to test a web service using API test, I'll create a new API test from file new test. Select the API test type from the, the test list. Give it a name. Next, I'll import the web service source by selecting the import with the button from the toolbar here and, and provide a web service endpoint that po points to your web service. This will import the web service into your UFT toolbox pane. You can expand your service node and see all the available methods to start creating your test steps. For this test, I will test my get flight web method and the create flight order. So to create a flight order, I would need a get flight. This get flight method requires a departure city and an arrival city. I can choose London and last to Los Angeles for my test. I can pre-run the step to get my flight number. I'm going to use this flight number for my next test. Create flight order. I'm going to drag my web method into the test flow. The create flight order require a class, customer name, departure date, and the flight number that number that I just copied from the get flight and provide number of tickets. So the class I can choose first class demo departure date the flight number I just got from the get flight it's like one I can pre-run my create flight order method as well to ensure that everything is the way I want to before I execute my test. You can hit F5 to run your test or click on the run button on the toolbar. I'll be running, clicking on the run button. Once it finished running, it will provide you a nice test results with all your um, test methods within your test. Here I have the get flight that comes back with 200 as a pass and all the data coming back from my web request here. And the create flight order come back as 200. And all the test result coming back from the request. So the request create an order number and provide a total number for the price as well. So my test successfully completed and thank you for watching the video.